Welcome to Academic Game Tutorials. In this video, we will look into the differences between machining and grinding. Conventional machining, also known as metal cutting, processes utilize a sharp edged wedge shaped cutting tool to compress and shear off material from workpiece. This cutting tool has defined geometry. On the other hand, grinding utilizes a circular wheel made of sharp, tiny, and random shaped abrasive grits strongly held on suitable bonding medium. These abrasives actually remove material from work surface in the form of microchips to provide a smooth surface. So, let's look into the basic differences between machining and grinding in a tabular form. Difference number 1, machining is one bulk material removal process, or high material removal rate. Thus it is economical and suitable to give proper size and also for semi-finishing, whereas, grinding has low material removal rate and is preferred only for finishing. Number 2, Accuracy and tolerance achieved by conventional machining operations are not so good. Achieving tolerance below 50 micrometers is very difficult, whereas, grinding can provide better accuracy and tolerance. In grinding, Achievable tolerance can be as low as 2 micrometers. Number 3. In machining, cutting tool is usually made of metals or alloys, which is substantially harder than work material. However, ceramic, diamond, and cubic boron nitride tools, non metallic, are also available, usually in the form of inserts, whereas, cutting tool for grinding, that is, the wheel, is made of abrasive materials, such as alumina and silica bonded in harder medium, like resin, and metal. Number 4. Cutting tool used in machining has specific geometry. Values of the geometrical features may vary from one tool to another, but each tool has predefined geometry as per tool signature, whereas, grinding wheel may have specific predefined features, but the abrasive grits, which actually participate in material removal, have random geometry and orientation. Number 5. In machining, rake angle of a cutting tool may vary from positive to negative. However, the negative rake usually does not go above minus 15 degrees as it may severely degrade machine ability, whereas, abrasive grits have haphazard rake angle. A much wider variation of rake angle from plus 75 degrees to minus 75 degrees is noticed among abrasive grits. Number 6. During machining operation, each main cutting edge of the tool actively and mostly equally participates in material removal action, whereas, only few, about 1%, abrasive grits actually engage in material removal action, or shearing. Some grits just engage in rubbing, scratching and plowing. A major percentage of grits do not even touch the work material in every rotation. Number 7. Generated cutting temperature is comparatively low, and only a tiny portion. 5 to 8 percent of it diffuses into the workpiece. Thus, thermal damage of the machine surface is usually insignificant, whereas, severe heat is generated during grinding, and also a substantial amount of heat diffuses into the workpiece. This causes thermal damage of the machined or ground surface, such as changing hardness. Number 8 The maximum cutting speed, revolutions per minute used in conventional machining is typically limited to 2000 rpm, limited by the capability of machine tool, especially gears and bearings. Thus cutting velocity, meters per minute, is also lower, whereas, rotational speed of grinding wheel is much higher, 2000 to 4000 rpm. Ultra high speed grinding, speed around 20,000 revolutions per minute, is also carried out for some specific applications. Number 9. Specific energy consumption, power per unit volume of material removed in kilowatts per cubic millimeters, is much lower, whereas, specific energy consumption is 5 to 50 times higher than that of the machining. And, difference number 10, there exist some surface hardened and inherently hard materials that cannot be machined by conventional methods, whereas, such materials can be finished by grinding without appreciable problem.